Raising it? People tell jokes, you laugh. Okay. Uh, please welcome to this very stage, Mr. Dennis Warwick. Give him a nice round of applause. supposed to be here earlier. Not my fault. I was trying to beat traffic. You got crazy traffic on this highway out here. I was trying to beat it getting down there and I'm getting pulled over. Cops said he clocked me doing like 70 and a 35 or something. Comes up. Why are you going so fast, buddy? I said my wife ran off with a cop last week. I thought you were trying to give her back to me. <laughs> She's your problem now, buddy. Sweet. So I made it. So with the Foxwoods over the weekend, anybody been to Foxwoods? <laughs> All right. Anybody ever want big Foxwoods? Nobody went to the Foxwoods, man. Foxwoods, the wonder of it all. Basically, you drive up there and you wonder where they get the money to build all those great, big, beautiful buildings. Then you figure it out on the ride home and you wonder what the hell happened to all your money. <laughs> Let me show you how stupid we become as a people, okay? This is how stupid we become as a people. In the olden days, the Indians used to ride down out of the hills on horses, down to the wagon train, and steal from the wagon train. They're so high-tech nowadays, they now get the white man to voluntarily drive to their reservation so that they can steal from us. Yeah. Then I heard the other day on the radio they're having a contest for who can sing the Foxwoods jingle the best. I'd like to get on some of that action, you know? I hate life is good, life is sweet, we'll steal your money every time we meet. Come on down, we'll steal it all. Yeah, we live to put your money in our vault. Foxwoods. Thank you, boy. Casino, though. I went to buy a cup of coffee for the car ride home, and my change back from the coffee on one of the one dollar bills that was written down, and I'll go to George.com and track where this dollar bill has been. And that's kind of what he's saying, you know what I'm talking about? What level of boredom have you hit in life where it makes sense in your head to go and track where a dollar bill has been? I mean, I've been bored before. I got the weekend off from work, sitting around the house, nothing to do. I got so bored one time, I went to my caller ID and I looked up the phone numbers of the telemarketers that had called me all day, and I called them back just to ask them if they were happy with their long distance carrier. <laughs> I've been bored, okay? Never been so bored I'd go track where a dollar bill has been, okay? Now I'm a comedian. When I see stupidity like this, it is my job to screw with these people, okay? So here's what I do. Pull a dollar bill out of my wallet and I go to this website. I type in the serial number on the dollar, then on the location I type this. I put, hi, my name's Dennis. I'm a male stripper. And the last place the dollar bill you're holding was, was inside of my thong. Then right next to that statement, I post a picture of me in a thong holding a dollar bill like this. I just picture some poor bastard staring at his computer going, I don't want to play this game no more. And that's where your dollar bill spent, Jack, yes? Uh, see, but that's the stupidity I gotta deal with on a daily basis. Speaking of stupidity, there's one guy I gotta make fun of before I get done up here tonight. And I almost feel bad for making fun of him, not because he doesn't deserve it, but because he makes it too easy on me. I almost feel like I'm not doing my job as a comic making fun of him, because he makes it so easy. I call this next routine, How Hard Can I Bash Fake President George Bush in Under a Minute. You ready for this? Here we go. And begin. Why did George Bush run for president? Because there were no more assistant men and assistants open at Dairy Queen, and he figured if his father couldn't buy the election with dirty oil money, then his brother in Florida would rig it for him. George Bush walks into a bar and says, give me a beer. The bartender pulls him a beer and slides it toward him. The beer goes off the bar, hits the ground, and smashes apart. The bartender says, why didn't you catch it? He said, it was draft beer. I was dodging it. <laughs> How many George Bushes does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. He'll pay an illegal alien half the price of minimum wage to screw it in for him. George Bush gets pulled over for drinking and driving. The cop says, how come you had so much to drink, sir? He says, hey, look at my wife. Would you go home sober? <laughs> knock, knock! Yeah. Bush! Bush! Bush is good when you can pick it up in a bar, not when it's running your country. <laughs> Why did George Bush cross the road? Because he wanted to screw the chicken just like he did America time! Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, I'm glad you guys like it, you know? I did that same routine a couple of shows ago. Guy gave me the absolute stupidest heckle I have ever heard in my entire life. Guy actually yelled out, Hey, George Bush is a good president! He just made a lot of mistakes! <laughs> So I came back at a guy. I said, hey, buddy, I'm a good comedian. I'm just not funny. <laughs> hey, I'm Dennis White. You guys are good. I'm 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 good. I'm
Two things I'd like to point out about Dennis, he doesn't like President